Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With. Guys, today we are on the NFC and we're going over the division winners of the 2023 season. We've been doing videos all week. Today we're diving into the NFC. We just finished the AFC conference. Uh, we're going to do the NFC East today. We have the NFC North. Take a look at these schedule. I mean, these uh, standings as well from last season. NFC South and NFC West. Um, and we're doing a parlay ticket, a massive parlay ticket right now. We've got the four teams of who I think is going to win the division so far. Buffalo Bills, uh, Baltimore Ravens um, with the injury to Joe Burrow. Jacksonville Jaguars are favorite, and the Kansas City Chiefs are favorite for reasons, okay? Added that to the ticket is at, currently at plus 1,700. That's pretty great right there. I ain't going to catch you. All right. Uh, this is the, the NFC East standings right here. This is my team, oh, it's my team. Luckily, yo, the, the Texans have a better chance. Oh, my God, yo. It's crazy out here for us, mo. Yeah, I'm from D.C., y'all. It's, it's cool. I'm from Maryland, too. DMV, I say, you know. But uh, with all that being said, let's talk about the commanders first. F all the other teams. We got a new ownership. Kicked out <coughs> Dan Snyder, Chaz. Uh, all the fans, Washington fans, stand up. Woo, woo, gangs. All right. Uh, well, we're definitely going to change the name. Commanders got to go. Commanders got to go. Football team was better than that. Redskins was even, you know, a better name. And, you know, they, they be calling women that now, you know. Uh, it's, it's be lingo. And that, not, no, we don't think of it as a slur. It's never been a slur to us, but to other people it may be. And we're sorry for that. So we're going to change the culture, change the narrative again uh, with Joe Harris and Matty Johnson and company. Uh that's a great buy, man. The largest acquisition in sports history. Six billion dollars. It's a lot of money. Uh, and he's gonna get his money worth. I do think with Matt Johnson and Joe Harris, they are, you know, they're they they're pretty great at winning. Um, and they're building franchises as well. Um, to see Matt Johnson and you know, all time great Laker be owning my favorite team and see what he's gonna do in store for us is pretty pretty sustain uh sustainable, um, or just Phenomenal, I should say. Um, and I do think he's going to bring that winning culture of the Lakers to us as well. And so, so Joe Harris of his other winning teams. Um, with that being said, I do think we might change the name to Red Wolves. Red Tails would be definitely appropriate as well. But Red Wolves definitely goes in hand with Sam Howell. Howell! All the fans going to be howling when we make them plays, boy. I'm telling you, that would be a perfect play on. They got to take advantage of that. I do think Howell's a... Uh, Solid quarterback. We'll see how he really plays. He uh, won his first start versus the Dallas Cowboys last at the end of last season. Uh, our defense is stout. Chase Young is back. We got some corners, uh, linebackers. We'll see how that go. But uh, our defense is top five. You can't put that past us. We have a great receiving core, probably top five in trios of receivers. Uh, Trey McLaurin, Josh Dotson uh, was another great rookie receiver last year. He led the uh, rookies in touchdown before he got injured. Um, and then Gary Wilson, I think, came up uh, and had a good season as well. But Dotson is up. Uh, and then we still have Curtis Samuel as well. Don't put that past them. Antonio Gibson will have a breakout season this year. Uh, and we do have the new office coordinator, Eric Bettemy, from uh, Kansas City Chiefs, who just won a Super Bowl. So, with all that said, uh, there's high hopes for us. I, knew, don't, I don't think we're going to finish last. Uh, and I don't think we're going to win. Um, I'm going to be a realistic fan. I would pick them to win at that plus 13, make that ticket look sweet. <clears throat> but um, I don't. Yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, I just think the Philadelphia Eagles are just a better team. Um, they're gonna win more games than us, honestly. Um, with Jalen Hurts and company, man, the running backs, they they got the quarterbacks. The defense is crazy good, and and they make the the Jalen Hurts is just so poised in the pocket, bro. It, it's like Patrick Mahomes again, bro. Like and and that might be another Super Bowl matchup again, bro. They're, they're, they're like that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they will win the division, and the Eagles will have another shot at the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they are that good. Shout out to all the Eagles fans. I got some good Eagle men. Uh, and I hate y'all. Uh, y'all be winning too much. And y'all get all the good players, bro. The fuck? All right. Uh, y'all have Michael Vick and McNabb, bro. Back on it. Come on, bro. Let me make Mike Vick mess me up. Dallas Cowboys. Boo! Boo! Y'all some sh I hate y'all with all all the teams in the world. Dallas Cowboys are sheesh. Um, what, what's the deal with them? Uh, 
Yeah, they, they let go of Ziggy Elliott. They let go of Amari Cooper. They about to let go of Dak Prescott if he leaves the league in the in sessions again. I'm telling you, he just guaranteed he wasn't going to do it. So, so if he does lead the league in the sessions again, he, he's going to feel pretty deflated. And once he uh, starts throwing interceptions early in the season, he's going to feel pretty deflated. They don't have Tony Pollard, their, their rookie that they franchise tagged over Elliott, coming off a broken leg. Um, with that being said, they're going to be throwing the ball a lot. Now, is C.D. Lamb not great? He's pretty good. He's in the top 10 in the league? I don't know. I don't I, I, I He's probably top 15. He might be right outside the top 10, 11, 12, right? But he is a good receiver. I'll give him that. Um, he got number 88 for a reason behind Des Bryant, uh, Michael Irvin, um, and that Cowboys legacy. But it's all on Dak hand. And they did sign Brandon Cooks. They do have uh, Michael Gallup. I think he's coming back as well. Brandon Cooks is a definitely a solid pickup for that slot. <coughs> uh, I think they let their tight end walk, too. I think they might have drafted a new tight end. And they did draft a, a stud at the end. I think Mozzie Smith, uh, Michael Parsons. That defense is crazy. Trey Diggs, bro, you got to – Worry about Dallas defense more than you have to worry about their offense. And the offense we're not worried about. Dak is going to be have to chase behind. He's going to be putting up points. Uh, and he's he going to do it some games, but some games he will have to be. If he's trailing, it's not going to be good. It's going to be like another Tony Romo situation. It's going to be like Romo part two. And we all know how that happened. Pick six. Uh, and see, man, going to get frustrated. I know it. And with the New York Giants, they're going to get frustrated. Uh, they didn't pay out my boy Saquon Barkley. They paid him an extra um, a couple mil for that that contract for one year or however many years. Would you pay Daniel Jones, huh? You pay Daniel Jones how much, huh? They were really supposed to part ways with him more, or it's just uh, they should have paid these motherfuckers even at this point, bro. This my Barkley put more work in than Jones. Jones just had a breakout season last year, and he got them to nine and seven, bro. Come on now, barely got them to play all day. And that game they played us, they they held that last play on Terry McLaurin. And that's why we ain't win. We be in the playoffs too. That's what I'm talking about. But <clears throat> Daniel Jones uh is a, a sneaky running quarterback. He gets it done. Well, they're gonna be looking at that. Uh he just so uh, unorthodox looking, I don't think they are prepared for it. So they they just let it run out their mind and then when he has the opportunity to run, he he sneaks it. Um they do have a great rookie running receiver from Tennessee, Jalen Hyatt, I think. Um, he definitely looks phenomenal. Uh, coming out there, he might be their best receiver. I'm not gonna lie, uh, he's definitely gonna come in pretty spotlight. Um, but I do not think Ceedee Lamb is the best receiver of the division at all. You got AJ Brown, Terry McLaurin, Devontae Smith. Then you might got CD, and then you got the Giants receivers, whoever else the case may be. But with all that being said, I do have Philadelphia Eagles taking this division again. That's pretty easy. Uh, you know why they they. Super Bowl contenders, um, they're going to go back again as well. Uh, but with that being said, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. We got more uh, news coming out, standing videos, uh, challenges, highlights, podcasts, sports bets. Uh, stay tuned for the Ball and Whip channel. Like, comment, subscribe again. Thank you guys for growing the fan base. We love you. Um, catch you on the next video. And we're out.